Hi, this is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health, and I could not resist talking about the insulin resistance myth. I finally just got to say it, get it off my chest. Um, in the low carb sphere, you know, we're talking Atkins, Eads, Gary Taubes, the whole gang. Um, you have this belief that spiking insulin by eating a lot of carbohydrates causes the receptor sites to just close down and you become resistant to insulin. And that's a result of eating carbohydrates over and over and over and over again. Um, that's not how it works at all. Insulin resistance is not a result of eating too many carbohydrates or spiking insulin too many times. It has nothing to do with how high insulin rises after a meal or any of that stuff. Insulin resistance is caused by fat. And I don't mean to make people, f you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not scaring people away from consuming fat. It's basically caused by triglyceride. Triglyceride is a fat molecule. It can accumulate in the tissues, uh, muscle tissues. It can accumulate in the liver, or it can be present in the blood. Now we know that um, you're going to have an increased level of triglycerides if you eat a really, really, really high fat diet in terms of it accumulating in your muscle, accumulating in your liver. The benefit is that you actually are burning uh, fatty acids at, at a high rate. So we, you actually have a huge drop in triglycerides and you're not synthesizing any triglycerides in your liver which is the most important when you're on a low carb diet. But a low carb diet still increases uh, insulin resistance because the fat intake is so high. So it can help lower blood sugars, it can help control diabetes, you can, it can help you lose weight, but it's not getting to the root of the problem which is insulin and leptin resistance that uh, kind of go to hand in hand. It doesn't fix the problem. Um, so, you know, the, the real key, I guess, I guess the one thing I wanted to say is that if you think that carbohydrates cause insulin resistance because they spike insulin, you're wrong. However, as I talked about in my last vi video on uh, triglyceride synthesis in the liver, that actually is caused by, a, you know, huge carbohydrate intake, but not just carbohydrates in general, but just refined sugar to a slightly lesser degree the refined grain because they are absorbed so quickly that they get converted into simple sugar in the form of glucose and a lot a big glucose load uh, from a rapidly absorbed carbohydrate especially if it doesn't have any fiber with it will tend to increase your triglyceride synthesis um, but fructose simple sugar liquid sugars pepsi uh, pound in tons of uh, fruit juice and things like that that's what's going to increase your triglyceride production the most so yes, carbohydrates come in the back door to increase insulin resistance, but only because they produce more fat. Uh, really the logical solution to insulin resistance, to leptin resistance, which goes along with that, is to eat a primarily starch-based diet that's high in fiber with unrefined carbohydrates, similar to what is being used by guys like Joel Furman or Neil Barnard, or uh, or Bernard, however you say his last name, it's spelled kind of weird. <clears throat> Julian Whitaker, um, yeah, all these sort of low fat, high starch guys. You don't have to be low fat, but uh, you know you don't want to be 70, 80 percent fat like you might get following uh, Atkins diet or something like that, because that's actually going to increase your insulin resistance. It's not getting to the core of the problem. Um, so don't fear carbohydrates, eat the right carbohydrates, make sure they're wholesome, unrefined carbohydrates, predominantly starches, and you're going to have the same decrease in triglycerides that you would get from a low-carb diet because you're not consuming things that trigger an increase in the synthesis of triglyceride in the liver, only without the huge, huge excessive burden of fat to go with that. I consume two to three hundred grams of fat every day of my life on a low carb diet and my glucose metabolism got worse. Every time I ate some kind of carbohydrate it tends to make you fat and you have blood sugar crashes. I had all kinds of things that I never had before going on a low carb diet and um, yeah it's, it's, it's one solution but it's not, I don't believe it's the best solution and I refer to low carb as being a last resort for people who've tried to eat a high fiber starch based uh, diet and had it fail miserably so anyway that's all for me today don't buy into the low carb story about insulin resistance it is inaccurate you do not need to fear carbohydrates 
And a lot of people, especially healthy, lean people who go on a low carbohydrate diet, do not need to be on that kind of diet and suffer some tremendous health problems from being on that kind of diet, myself included. So anyways, that's my message for today. Insulin resistance is about triglycerides. It's not about spiking insulin. And that's it for me. Thanks again. This is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health.